Well, <clears throat> we're looking at, uh, once again, the uh, Greensburg's birthday, you know, the 100th anniversary of Greensburg's incorporation. And we're going to move on to look at uh, the old ice and coal company. These things were important once upon a time because they uh, supplied things that were needed, which people don't think about today, in, in the summer uh, around the time when, when we're talking about when Greensburg was 100 years old, 1899. People needed ice in the summer for their uh, ice boxes, and in the wintertime they needed coal. And the old ice and coal company up, up in Ludwig delivered this for them. This is a 1901 view of the town. This is what we were just looking at. This is Ludwig. That's the earliest Seton Hill building, St. Mary's. This is the uh, railroad yard up in Ludwig with Depot Street and Otterman Street. Now we come into town. This is the old Poland's house, a, uh, another view that shows up in the book we're talking about, the centennial book of Greensburg's founding in, in 1899. And that house is still there. That's a nice shot of it. A guy out there walking his dog past the old house. On the corner of Pennsylvania and uh, West, 4th, West 4th Street, Here we go up to Main Street. Main Street, where Main Street meets uh, Maple Avenue coming in from Kinderhook. Attorney Bell had that place, and that one's still there. I wish they had left the original porch on it, but it was probably damaged. I don't think the replacement porch is much of an improvement, <laughs> but that's what it's there. This was uh, actually the orphanage in 1899. Before that, it had been Frank Scherer's house. That was his humble dwelling. Frank Scherer was a butcher, and he had his butchery right down, the, right up the street. That's what's there now. There's nothing there. It's wiped out up on uh, West Pittsburgh Street. The hospital is sitting right there. And right where Frank Shearer's slaughterhouse had been is right now the hospital. Talk about savage ironies. The uh, butcher house or the slaughterhouse becomes the hospital. And that's Frank Shearer posing down on Main Street. Look at Main Street, not even paved yet. You know, all these guys knew that there was a picture getting taken, and they come out for to get their picture taken too. This is down on uh, East Pittsburgh Street, right at the bottom of the hill, where it met, met Otterman Street. This picture was in the book, too, but I put a little color on it. I'm sometimes tempted to add a bit of color because it makes it more interesting. These are the guys that work there. Look at this, a little doggy up here, a little doggy down here. It seems like men at work were a bit less regimented then. They could bring the dog to work. That's the back of the building, and this is one of Leroy Smelter's photos looking over a, uh, a high school football game at Offutt Field. This shows you the lumber company in uh, 1901. T.M. Fowler's view, this is Pittsburgh Street, this is Urania coming in. Now we get on to Kelly and Jones, which was the uh, ancestor of Walworth. Looking at it from the Southwest Branch and Huff Avenue going across. That's a woodcut I did of the place shortly before it was torn down. We're looking down the tracks, looking south, and it gives this hulking, immense, old, dirty, dungeness, dingy, factory place, which pretty much it was. 
but it's an interesting shot. Now we come up further up Pittsburgh Street to the house of Sam Allwine. Sam was a blacksmith, and he had his smithy right up the street, right to the left of this. And you see, Allwine Street was in place there. But when Saul, Sam Allwine was working there, Allwine All Street hadn't been built yet there. What we're looking at is the 1876 mapping of Greensburg. This is Main Street. This is Maple. This is the house we were just looking at. And right up here is uh, Sam Allwine's blacksmith shop. And what you see is Allwine Street did not exist in 1876. One of those little things that teach us things change radically and we just don't notice it. Now we're going to show the place now. Sam Allwine's place is still there. Allwine Street has been added in the meantime since Sam had his smithy there and this big building has been built. This is up on North Main Street. I only put it in here because I've been fascinated by the fact that Mr. Keck's place had a tower out back, and I've never figured out what was the story. I'm sure there was a story behind that. That tower was fastened onto the house, and it was on one of, the, one of those highest places above the town where you could look out all over the town and get a view. We're looking at here a drawing from T.M. Fowler. Here's Keck's house right above the railroad. Pennsylvania, Main Street, and there's the tower we were talking about. It would give you a really good view of the town, and I hope some people got up there and got some photographs because I'd like to see them. Uh, we get down now to um, West Third Street. There was a steam laundry down there one time, but it's gone, as many other things are, and some things we don't regret they're going. On the corner now, we're looking at Main Street and Ottoman Street going across. We're looking at the northwest corner of Ottoman and Main. And it was called the Null House, and it was the property of Levi Portzer. Now, over the years, many people had that hotel. And uh, back in the 50s, the 1850s, a guy named Kettering had the place. And a lot of other people did, and maybe somebody watching this might remember others. Perhaps even their, their relatives might have been running that, that old hotel. That's what's there now. That's a 1851, 1951, excuse me, 1901, excuse me once again, 1901 view of Greensburg the old town. And I think we've seen enough now. And we're going to say so long. That was number two of the uh, views of Greensburg's 100th birthday.